Good evening, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of CCW. I'm King Zavarell, and I'll be calling the action here in our Imaginarium of Sports Entertainment. But enough about me, let us introduce our competitors. Starting off with a special guest playing as playing as Razorblade Nelson, we have Rage Elemental. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's going good. How about you? Not too bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, also with us today, we have, playing as Ilona, we have La Sinistra Storm. Hello. Hello. Playing as Henry Hertz, we have Dr. Professor Mister. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, now presenting Dr. Professor Mister! Yes. I was going to say like the same line that I said for the last time we did this, but I was like, nah, it feels too rehearsed now. <laughs> yeah. How does that one sound? Did that sound better than the first one? Yeah, it sounded the same. I think it sounded good. <laughs> it sounded good either way. And also, That's like my favorite intro. It's why I do it for my stream every time. <laughs> and also introducing... We have, playing as Cletus Farmatel, we have Can't Stop the Raj. Tractor noises. <laughs> I like how everyone did like the same exact thing they did last time. <laughs> and it's Clyde and Cletus. Uh, Clyde and Cletus, that's true. You give I mean, Cletus some respect. Oh, of course, of course. Well, I did I say, I said Cletus, didn't I? You said Clyde. Did I say Clyde? Just because he's dressed, oh. just because he's dressing like Clyde, and wants you to call him Clyde. He he's like still him. a person. Yeah, he's still. He looks. He looks too much like Clyde. I, I can't help it, man. Um, but yes. So the lights go down as the start of CCW is about to begin. But um, instead of the music coming out through the speakers, we actually see an image on the the jumbotron, and that is the image of a truck pulling up, and out of the driver's seat is is uh the rock and roadie as he gets out and he opens the the passenger side open for rock and ricky rock and ricky gets out of the out of the truck and starts walking uh walking in he's got his bag and everything um and as he's walking to like the as he's walking to the main doors uh the sound of uh screeching tires is heard in the parking lot area as he is struck by a car so as uh he's hit by the car and whatnot uh the camera sees uh in the in the uh the car driver's side is someone wearing is wearing a like a one of those ski masks where the eyes are like revealed and in the in the passenger side is clyde uh but yes as we uh as we get to the ring we go to the ring and the announcement is made ladies and gentlemen the following contest is scheduled for one fall one fall. One fall. One fall. Yeah. And is a powder keg qualifier match. Making his way to the ring first from... Where is Cletus from again? Was it from Padunk? Yeah. We had this argument last time, yeah, too. Yeah, we couldn't remember. <laughs> No, he's from the neighboring county. I forget. He's what from it the is. neighboring he's county. From the neighboring That's county, right. whatever that was called. It was Podunk and Jerkwood. Some... Jerkwood. It's Jerkwood. Jerkwood from Jerkwood, Ohio. Cletus Farmatel. Rum, 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 rum. Tractor noises as as Cletus comes out and he has Clyde with him. He's pushing him in the chair and everything, and he's like waving. As if he's a politician, he's trying to kiss babies, but you know the mothers are you know retracting the babies from him. Uh, he's he's trying to play up the good guy shtick, but it doesn't seem like the crowd gives into it. Ooh. We want. Clyde. I'm trying to help Clyde, 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 Clyde. I'm out of breath now. Fuck you, Cletus. Fuck you, Cletus. <laughs> Cletus gives, a, Cletus gives an ugly <laughs> look to the crowd. You're a jerk. What do, 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 do. You're a jerk. I am a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as uh, yeah, Cletus makes his way down to the ring. Woo! Yeah, he puts he, he brings Clyde down, puts him in the corner so that Clyde can watch and gets into the ring and just kind of waves. Nice. And his opponent from. Nashville, Tennessee. 
rocking ricky uh yeah the image on the titantron is still like on like ricky just kind of like on the ground like he's he's breathing but he's like really fucking hurt uh best way i could describe that is he's really effing hurt um rock and roadie is sitting there trying to like help him up to his feet as um the as kind of people are just watching on and on like shock um are you uh how, what, what's cletus doing in this meantime cletus wants to aggressively grab the referee and start yelling at him to, to start counting 10 all right all right yeah the uh the referee just kind of sighs uh, not not liking that he's gonna have to do this um as he makes the count one, one. Woo! two Woo! three Cletus goes outside the ring and he's running around giving high fives to the crowd, but none of them are extending their hands. <laughs> I love that. I love the image. Four. Four. Five. The uh, the image on the Titantron goes uh, is now out, and it's just wait uh, waiting for anything. Six. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Cletus is tired now, and he's kind of like bent over, huffing because he's been running around getting the high fives. <laughs> Seven. As the referee hits seven, the rhythm and blues rock and roll music starts kicking in. Being helped to the ring by Rock and Rody is Rock and Ricky, hunched over, holding his ribs, one arm around Rody as Rody helps him down. They get to ringside, and Ricky rolls into the ring. Uh, are you All right, a... Cletus, Cletus is going to slide back into the ring and just start laying the boots to him. All right, yeah, that's real right away. I got to jump on him. He's injured now. Who could have hit him with a car? We will never know, but I got to get the upper hand now. Uh, nine. They were wearing a mask. Who knows? Could, could be been... anybody babysitting Cle Clyde. It could be me. Oh, God, wait a minute. <laughs> Where is your... Oh, it's negative one. I'm eight. Oh, eight? Okay. I'm trying to look for your character sheet at the moment. I don't know why. Just use Clyde's. It's the same exact one as yeah, Clyde's, except but, from oh, Jerkwood. Yeah, that, that's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I'm looking for. I can't find Clyde. Why can't I find Clyde? That is so weird. All right, I'm just going to have to take your word on everything here going forward. Um, I mean, I can tell you what it is. It's negative one, zero, negative one, two. Okay, okay. that works. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you got an eight, you said? Yes. Yeah, you start wailing in on him. Um, you can already see like bruises and stuff like forming on, uh, Ricky, like where like where he must have got hit. Um, and yeah, yeah it's like emblem of a Hyundai logo on his like rib cage. <laughs> Hyundai. Hyundai. You think he can afford a Hyundai? I was, I was gonna say, let's. They're they're probably it's probably what like a Ford or something like that. Cletus is buying American only. Yeah, it's a it's like a 1960s Ford. It's not because it's vintage. It's because it's the only thing he could afford. <laughs> um, a it was Chevy gifted Prism. to him <laughs> from from him stealing it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like so, Cletus is just putting in the boots right onto that Ford logo on on uh, Ricky's chest or uh, Ricky's ribs. Um, Cletus, you are very much in control of this match, bro. Great, I want to I want to grab his leg and throw him over into a, like a single leg crab. Oh, brutal bastard! That is that is gonna be work. Which I think you got a good. Oh, one I'm a worker it. too. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Eleven plus two, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you throw him over into the crab uh single leg or double leg just single leg just, just single, one leg oh, man yeah you or, or the right leg uh, wait the, is that right the left leg i'm sorry leg. i have him with my right my right yeah. side yeah so his left leg so yeah you you turn him over onto his stomach and you just start yanking on that leg uh just really pulling on it you're like kind of torquing it in a way that his back is being contorted as well so putting some pressure on those ribs and everything like that uh and he is just he is in pain he is in so much pain i'm i'm gonna be rolling uh i'm gonna roll for power to see if he can crawl his way to the ropes here you're up you fake cowboy oh man yeah he uh yeah he starts crawling towards the ropes and more specifically towards the ropes where clyde is sat as he 
starts crawling to- closer and closer to the ropes. He yells out to Clyde, Come on, brother! You gotta snap out of it! He grabs the bottom rope. Clyde does not move, but his eyes are directly where he is, and he just drinks his beer. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Uh, you letting go on the... Uh, where, where are you letting go on this five count that's gonna start? I'm not taking... letting go until he counts to five. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the referee, he starts getting... To, he counts to four, and then he starts trying to kind of pull you off of him. Like, kind of threatening yeah. he's gonna disqualify you. No, no, yeah, I'll get I'll get up at four. I'm not gonna... I don't want no trouble. No trouble. No tr- I want no trouble. <laughs> Uh, but now I want to pick. I want to pick him up, and I want to DDT him right into the mat. All right, yeah, that is going to be that's a classic move. I'll let you roll uh, work for that. Five plus two is seven. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, Cletus yeah. math. Yeah, you. Um... Oh, jeez. Uh, so yeah, you. Uh... Pick him up and put his put him right in that front guillotine. Drop backwards, dropping Ricky right on top of his head. Uh, nasty DDT. Uh, yeah, still in control. Awesome. Now I want to go up to the top rope to do an amazing high risk maneuver. Oh, what's the what's the amazing high risk maneuver? I mean, he thinks he's gonna do like a four fifty, but it's gonna end up being probably like a shitty splash. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be the Snoop Dogg, an accidental splash. swanton. <laughs> it's the Snoop Dogg splash. That's what I'm picturing. Yes, God. yes, but he thinks it's like an amazing, like four fifty <laughs> shooting star extravaganza. Yeah. Uh... So if he hits this, he wants to be like he's he's either gonna break his neck or he's gonna think he hit the best move ever. Yeah, I'll have you roll work on this because it's not gonna be flashy. Yeah, ten plus two, twelve. Yeah. What a Snoop Dogg splash! Oh, so you got a nat twenty or not twelve? No, 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 no. It's ten plus two. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, yeah, so you, you. Uh, is this top rope or second rope? Top rope. Top rope, man. Ugly. He wa- he wants to kill Ricky. Hideous. Uh, yeah, you come off the top rope. Uh, it like just as you said, like in Cletus's mind, it's like it is. It's a. It's an inverted 450 splash. It's the exploding 450 or something. But really, it's just him doing it. It's just kind of falling forward on top of Ricky. <laughs> um, going for the cover? No. no. Well, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I want to go for the cover, but I want to pull him up at two. Oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah, referee comes in and counts to one, two, and you just rip his shoulder right off the mat. Great. Now I want to pick him up. I want to dump him outside where Clyde is. Oh, man. Yeah, you throw him over the top rope. I'm not even going to make you roll for that. Uh, As you throw him over the top rope, uh, Ricky is, like, laying there, holding his ribs, and he's, like, looking up at Clyde, reaching up for him, like, trying to, like, asking for help. Clyde does not move. Oh. He is catatonic. It is offensive that they think he will do anything. Like, don't they know that he is catatonic? Clyde, 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 Clyde. Clyde. All right, Cletus had enough of this shit. He's going to go out there and hit the blue ribbon. What is it called? The blue, (laughs) my finisher, the blue ribbon beer. Yep, that is, yeah, the uh, the stroke. Clyde's finisher, yeah. He's hitting Clyde's finisher. Right in front of Clyde. (gasps) Yeah, on the outside, right in front of Clyde. Heartless. Yeah, straightforward 2d6. Oscar, get out of there. Seven. Seven? Yeah, you pick up Rockin' Ricky. Um, and is there anything that you'd like to, like, put in this as well? Uh, no, I just want to do it right in front of Clyde and yell, What are you yelling at him? Woo! <laughs> like a hillbilly woo. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the, the, the mic wasn't picking it up at first. It's too, I was too high. I'm sorry. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, you um you pick him up and yeah you yell that in front of Clyde as you just face plant him right into the right into the mat like the outside mat, um, yeah, yeah. Now I want to do it again. Oh, I'm not even gonna make you roll for. It. I think uh, yeah, I think Ricky's incapacitated here. You got him. Right now, I want to go back in the ring and I'm gonna harass the referee to begin the count. Oh, so yeah, um, the referee starts counting, um, and 
I would say he gets right up to nine before Rhodey actually throws Ricky back into the ring. Yeah! Rhodey, 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 Rhodey. Oh, this pisses Cletus off. He wanted to win by count out. Yeah, yeah. Ro- he, Rhodey th- he thought that off. was poetic. Yeah. Rhodey oh. flips you off also in that. I'm. Uh, I want Cletus to go out to Clyde and grab some of his beers and start chasing Rhodey around the ring while chucking the beers at him. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm gonna have you roll real. <laughs> it's bullshit. He shouldn't even be out here. Six plus two, eight. Yeah. So you, uh, uh yeah, you grab a beer bottle and you. Th- you like launch They're cans. It. We we oh, only carry cans. cans. Oh, then you yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say you hit them like with it. You like you can hold more the, cans yeah. under the wheelchair is what it is. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you you hit Rody like right in the head with a beer can and uh, it. Oh, just... dude! I, yeah, I'm gonna celebrate. I didn't think I was gonna hit him. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, you got him. Yeah, the beer like goes like all over the place and everything like, and it just covers Rody. Um, yeah, you yeah. are and R- Ricky's like just laying in the ring. He's out. All right, I'll go back into the ring, and yeah, I guess I'll end it in the ring then. I'll try to hit another blue ribbon beer on him. Ooh, straight forward, 2d6. Monster. Eight. Oh, Six plus two. Monster. Yeah, you once again pick him up and hit him with uh, the blue ribbon beer, also known as the stroke from Jeff Jarrett, as you plant him face first into the mat once again. Uh, unconscious. You going for the pin now? He's so old, he probably had a stroke. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pin. I'm, I'm going to do a casual, like, generic pin, like, yeah. so disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, ugly. As uh, the referee counts it, one, two, two three. three. Here is your winner, Cletus Farmatel. Woo, I'm the champion. Cletus is running around. He thinks he's won some sort of belt or something. He keeps screaming that he's the champion. Oh, well, he is in the powder keg now. He gets Cletus and he starts running around the ring in circles celebrating. Damn. Ooh, ooh. And then I want to go back in the ring and I want to take Ricky and dump him back out to the outside. Yeah. Don't you dare do it, Oscar. And I'm going to run him over with the wheelchair. Oh, no. You bastard. Yeah, you yeah, you run him over with the wheelchair. Oh, you monster. Did Clyde fall out? Uh, Clyde did not fall. Uh, I, okay. Yeah, no, he didn't fall out. Okay. If he did, if he did, I would have helped him back in his chair. See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a noble human being. Monster. I 100% thought she was talking to Raj for a second. I thought I she was too. too. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and then I still said it. Oh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Hit him with I'm, the wheelchair. I'm, to- I'm totally editing it so it stops like, before she says Asuka. It's like, Don't you dare. <laughs> That's amazing. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hightail it back to the backstage area because I don't want to be there when Rhodey... Uh, gets up yeah wakes up uh yeah uh, we go over to the backstage area uh before we go to the backstage area there's actually uh we go to this uh, actually we don't go to the backstage area the lights go out as on the tumbo uh, as the on the jumbo um the clock pendulum starts coming back again going back and forth tick talk tick talk uh Last week, there was a single silhouette that was on the screen. This week, there are two silhouettes on the screen this week. As it once again says, our business, our time. And then it just cuts to black. But yeah, we go back to the ring. As we get the announcement, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. One fall. Yay. Uh, making his way to the ring first from Cheyenne, Wyoming, Henry Hurts. Yeah. I'm not there. Hurt, 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 what? hurt. I'm not there. I'm not coming out. <laughs> Where's Henry? Yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. We no, want I'm, Henry. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm under the ring. Oh. Oh, that would have been nice <laughs> to have known. 
Yeah. We want Henry. We want Henry. No, I just I just thought of it. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Edit that out. <laughs> Making his way to the ring first, representing <laughs> Bitch Boss V, the Underling. Uh, much like last week, where there were there was the uh, scrawny lad with the uh, the button up T-shirt and the long tie. Uh, this is actually a more a larger uh, version of him. Uh, it's more muscly. Like he barely fits in the button up. Like you could see like the button like the shirt's like straining to not break <laughs> kind of situation uh as yeah this individual walks out of the ring glasses it all the same thing glasses too by the way um and walks in and steps over the top rope and stands in the ring waiting uh as the announcement's made for his opponent and as his, soon as the oh yeah go ahead uh and his opponent from cheyenne wyoming henry hurts as soon as the ref's Shabaka's turn, I'm gonna hit the motherfucker in the back of the head with a chair. Yeah, uh, that will be and throw real. the chair out. Yeah, that'll be real. I'm gonna really knock this motherfucker out. Like for real. I'm gonna kill this guy. Like for real. That is the purpose. The of crowd's my confused. Existence. They're looking at the entrance. They don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna hear that. Nine. Nine? Nine? Yeah, yeah, it is that yeah. that yeah. loud yeah. that yeah. metal yeah. on body sound that boom, as it Bang. echoes throughout the uh, the Haymarket Park arena here uh in Lincoln in Nebraska uh as the the this large underling just drops down to his knees and onto his hands like so he's like on all fours right now uh you finish him finish him all right yeah finish him that's, that's real again <clears throat> eight eight yeah, so yeah, you crash that chair down on his back again, um, just laying him out. Um, he's down. <laughs> no, no, I was dropping the finisher on him. Oh, oh, that's straightforward 2d6 then. Oh, never mind. Oh, um, so yeah, then you're going for the Hertz Donut. Okay. Uh, or Hertz Donut or the, uh, the fuck around find out? The Hertz Donut. Hertz Donut, all right. Um, I'll have you go and describe this one. So as he, he drops to his knees... After I hit him in the back of the head with a fucking chair, he drops to his knees. I'm gonna run up behind him and just drop the Hertz donuts on him. Yeah, that that knee in the back of his head, that kind of like a curb stomp almost. Yep. And then as I'm doing it, the chair is going out the ring. All right. Yeah. So yeah, you throw the uh, the chair out the ring. Um, as the referee kind of like, like what the hell's going on? Never rang the bell, so the match never technically started. Uh, rings the bell as. The match is now going to begin. So you I'm go pinning him. Pin. Yeah, you go for the pin. Uh, as you hook the leg, the referee kind of confused, just drops down. One, two, three. Here is your winner, Henry Hertz. Woo! Have <laughs> my baby, woo! <laughs> Mrs. Hertz is Maybe in the crowd? Later. <laughs> We're all Mrs. Hertz to Henry. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought she said, that's my baby. So, I thought so like now I'm going to go back oh, outside the ring. Baby. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to drag this body outside the ring, yeah. and I'm just going to start beating his head into the bell. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you start. Uh, yeah, you just start unloading some vicious brutality on this dude. Um, yeah, he's bleeding. Like, I'm, like, he's bleeding. I'm, I'm not stopping until there's blood. Yeah, he'll be bleeding, without a doubt. Probably after, like, a couple of shots on that. Um, yeah, he's a bloody mess as... Um, I want the mic. Oh, yeah, grab the mic, bro. Boss bitch, I'm tired of dealing with these assholes. Bring your ass out here. That was not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I love it so much I more. The crowd it. just yeah. goes wild. Yeah. Yeah. Is, this, is this guy Nails? It's Nails. It's Nails. Oh, my God. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um. V does not come out, but she does appear on the um, on the jumbotron, as she's just kind of doing like that golfer that that snide golfer's clap kind of. Yeah, that was uh, okay, and 
you want a piece of the boss, the bitch boss. I understand that. Everyone wants a piece of the bitch boss. But like I said, you're going to have to earn it. And you're just week, scared to come out here and face me. Next week, I'll give you that opportunity. Why don't you give it to me now, bitch? Not on your time. On my time. As the screen goes black. Um, the ring announcer comes back out with a with the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall. One fall. One fall. One fall. Yay. Making his way to the ring first from... Give me one second. I need to look this up real quick. I just had it. Making Jerkwood his... County. It's not Jerkwood County. Making his way to the ring from Toledo, Ohio. Razorblade Ohio. Nelson. Oh, Ohio. Ooh, you suck. We want the chef. Chef, 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 chef. Chef, chef. Razorblade comes out and he's not really paying attention to the crowd. He's just kind of doing his own thing, going, got, got his little stride going on down to the ring, you know. Nice, nice. He gets up, he gets on the uh, on the corner on the second turnbuckle and gets up and gives his big old uh, across the throat slash the, the, the big old crippler throat. like yeah. the Chris Benoit one where he goes all the way from like shoulder to shoulder hell yeah nice question yes was the last match a qualifying match no, no. What, is this match a qualifying match nope don't worry we'll be we'll, okay. be, an, we'll be announcing the qualifiers and, make, and his opponent making the, his way to the ring from Hershey Pennsylvania James, James. Prince, Prince. Uh, James Prince, who uh, debuted last season, uh, makes his way down to the ring. I actually was uh, in a bit of a situation with with Justin Bull and Ra Razor Blade last week. Yeah, James Prince makes his way to the ring. Uh, <laughs> just kind of jogs down to his jog, jogs down to the ring, uh, gives a couple high fives here and there to some fans at, this, at ringside. Uh, slides into the ring and stands across the ring from Razor Blade Nelson. Uh, are we doing right. this uh, classic uh, good sportsmanship or no? I'm just, I, you know, I'm kind of standing there, you know, stretching against the ropes and everything, just waiting for the bell. Nice. Oh, you know what? Now, now that I think about it, Razor Blade reminds me of uh, Silas Young a little bit. Last re wrestling's uh, uh, last uh, real man. The real man's man, yeah. Yeah, like that. I just got that vibe from it right now. I'm like. Damn, that's like fantastic, and I love that. Magnum TA, sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works too. But anyway, uh, so I'll have you roll straight forward GD6 to see who starts this match off. Let's see here. That's a six. A six. Ah, all right. Just barely. Back. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna roll two to see if James Prince has. Oh, no, it's you. Yeah, he got a four. Um, yeah, so how would you like to start this match off? All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off. We'll, we'll do the standard uh, tie-up here, and uh, I'll work him into a uh, to a side headlock. Very nice. I'll have you roll uh, work. Work. There we go. All right. Damn. 11 plus 1, 12. Damn. A dirty 12. Nice. Uh, yeah, you throw it. You, it's 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 like second nature to you almost. It's it's almost as easy as breathing to you. Where as soon as you get into like the the shoulder and collar tie up, uh, J James Prince doesn't even have a second to think about it before he's locked head like has his head locked in uh, with the side headlock. Um, as you just wrench down on it, fingers clasp real good in there. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, you are still in control here. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run him in. Let's go ahead and uh, let me, uh, let's have him go ahead and uh, try to push me, like back me into the ropes and try to push me off. But okay. I'm gonna like hang on to it and like not let go and just uh, kind of go for the break. Huh? Uh, like the uh, the clench into the ropes. Uh, try to get the break. No, 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 no. So, like, uh, where I've got the headlock on him, he's oh. going to try to, like, oh. use the ropes to, like, push me off and whip gotcha. me into the other side of the ropes. Okay, yeah. All right, but I'm going to, like, 
hold on to the the headlock. Gotcha. All right, for that I'm gonna have you roll real then. All right. Or no, no, my bad. I'm sorry about that. That's body, body, body. All yeah. right. Six. Six. All right. Is that uh, that's with the plus one? Uh, actually, I have zero for body. Because it would have been a negative one, but I added one at creation. Oh, so I, have a, okay. I have a zero in body. Oh, okay. I saw I saw the plus one, and I was like, oh, that's a plus one. Okay. Whoops. No, it's just because it, it should have been a minus one. Gotcha. But then I took okay. the stat from creation and nope. put it there. All right. Well, all right. I got that written down now to remind me for next time. Uh, yeah. So you um you he tries to back you into the ropes to try to push you forward, and, but. As soon as he pushes you forward, it actually like causes you to drop down to like you're. I'm thinking you drop down to one knee and drag him down with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is just like locked in this thing now as he's now on both of his knees trying to get out of this headlock. All right, uh, I'm gonna wait for him to kind of like make a move to try to get out of it, and I'm gonna let him go and like give him a good right hand to the face. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, that one's going to be real. Seven minus one, six. Six, all right. So, yeah, you, um, Prince starts to kind of get his, like, like legs out under him as he stands back up, gets you back up as well. Uh, he throws a couple of punches into your, like, into your midsection. However, you just hit him with this one beautiful punch. It, it it makes that sound, that clicking sound, as it just echoes throughout the arena, and he just is, he's limp for a bit. So he's hes standing, but he's just kind of, like, dazed. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back him up into the corner then here mm -hmm. and start laying into him with some chops. That's some real stuff right there. That's some real shit right there. Ten minus one nine. Nine. All right. Yeah, you just lay them into him. It is loud. It is, it is nasty. It's like you're laying them in, and it's like his chest is starting to like his fingerprints are starting to pop up on there, like the outline of your hand. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna give him about three or four of those. And then we'll uh, we'll pull him out of the corner and we'll uh, whip him into the ropes. All right, um, I'm gonna have look we'll do a uh, back body drop. Oh, all right, yeah, that'll be. Um, I'm gonna have you roll body for that one. Nine. Nine. Oh, damn, nice. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, you laying a couple more chops onto him. Uh, throw him into the ropes, and as he bounces off, you throw him up in the air, and he gets some height on it. It is like a good, I'd say, like two, two, three feet like from where you're standing like up for, so if you stood up straight uh straight it's like three feet above you like launching him uh lands right onto his back as it echoes throughout the arena once again i'll uh take the time to do some uh do some cheap heat oh beautiful i'll have you roll uh audience for that nine plus two is eleven yeah oh yeah the, the, the crowd gets on you they are you're getting sweet heat out of this uh, as they just start booing the hell out of you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Boo. All right. Well, chef, in the middle of all chef, that, chef, chef. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, he's going to get mad at any chef chance. <laughs> he's going to, he's going to start, start berating people in the audience at that point. The audience starts throwing salami that they have brought in like slices of salami. <laughs> salami. <laughs> the salami of Nebraska <laughs> represented here tonight. Well, right. with uh, with him uh, after that back body drop, he uh, yeah. he's gonna land and end up in like a seated position. He's gonna like sit up and like, oh my back. No. Oh. And uh, I'm gonna bounce off the far ropes and come in with a big kick right to his back. Oh, lovely PK. Yeah, that's a uh, that's real. Ten minus one nine. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Damn. 
Uh, yeah, you uh bounce off the ropes as he's uh as he's like trying to get his breath, the wind knocked out of him from that back body drop, and you just knock more of that wind out of his lungs as you just a sickening PK right right between the shoulder blades, uh just echoes throughout the arena, and he just yeah lets this yell of agony out. I'm gonna go for a cover. Go for the cover. Yeah, you uh you fight. I'm, I'm picturing like you like throw him down onto the mat. Well, I figure, like, when I kick him in the back, like, he'd kind of, like... Oh, falls backwards? React and then just kind of, like, yeah, fall right. back, and then yeah, I just kind of go for the cover from there. Yeah, that works, too, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, as he, like, falls back on to, uh, falls onto his back, you go and, like, hook the leg. Uh, the referee makes the count. One, two, but he kicks out before the three count is made. All right, uh... Get a little bit of a look of frustration on the face there. Like, I felt like he should have went down. But, uh, all right. All right. Let's go ahead and pick him up and uh, whip him into the ropes and, and then give him just, like, a kick in the midsection to kind of bend him over. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that'll be real again. Man, these dice are hot tonight. I got. You said it was real? Yeah. 11 minus 1 is 10. Damn, dude. Shit. Those are the dice you're using for the rest of the season, I think. Fucking A. Damn. I'm not putting these back in the box. Dude. Yeah, Just right? <laughs> I think we all have dice for this season. I do. Yeah. So uh, I've been kind of, you know, just kind of taking whatever was out of here, but these are staying out now. Those are damn. Uh, yeah, so as you, um, as you kick him in the stomach, um, on the ramp is Justin Bull coming down to ringside. Okay. Okay. I'm uh I'm gonna take note of it, but I'm gonna keep my uh keep my focus on the match here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna since I've got him uh set over in in uh, in place for it here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit him with the fame asser. Yeah, that's work. You've been using that move forever in your time. You might as well. Put All right. That work. Well, five plus one is six. Ooh, ooh, close. <laughs> Just you, you shouldn't have said anything about how good those dice were. <laughs> I apparently shouldn't have. Yeah. Uh, well, as you um, and you rush against the ropes as you you leap up into the air and yeah, you hit the famouser and he, he just flattens out. He is down right on the ground. All right, let's go ahead, and pick him up, and finish him. All right, straightforward two d six. Ooh, six. Uh, yeah, you uh, you pick him up and set him up for the uh, the guillotine neck breaker, and yeah, you drop him down as he just he clenches his neck and just he is in he's in just unbelievable pain at the moment. As you go for, I think you're going for the cover. Hundred percent. Oh yeah, you go for the cover. You hook the leg, everything. Uh, Hockey cover too. Oh, nice. Are you watching Justin Bolt as you pin him? Yeah, I'll like, I like get the cover to where I can like lean back over this guy and just like look at Justin Bolt at the same time. Damn. Yeah. So you go and cover. You you lay on you lay on him. I'm not even gonna say you cover him. You lay on him. Um, as the referee uh, makes the count, you you I eye, eye to eye with Justin Bolt uh, as the referee makes the count. One, two. Three. Here is your winner, Razorblade Nelson. Ooh, ish. Boo ish. Chef, 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 chef. Chef, 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 chef salami. Chef, 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 salami chef, starts chef. raining into the ring. Cold cuts everywhere. God. I'm gonna pick some up and eat them. Oh, nice. <laughs> But yeah, you uh, you have won, and yeah, Justin Bolt's right there at ringside. So I'm just gonna stand up and like go over to the ropes and like yell at him, "Hey, you got to answer for me." He uh, yeah, he like he nods his head. He uh, goes around the ring, grabs a microphone, as he looks at you and says, "You know, I have to admit, you're a hell of a fight." But man, from that first time I fought you to the second time, I think I might get your number. I think I know how to beat you now. Because I think what we got right now, 
This is this is iron sharpens iron. Me fighting you is only making me better. So you know what street fight you wanted it next week, Oklahoma. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah! Bolt! 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 <laughs> I'll cheer. I'm open yeah. juices. Let me try again. Oh, okay. Woo! Kick his ass! Yeah! First. All right, so it's on. Next week, Street Fight. Razorblade Nelson versus... versus Justin Bolt. All right. All right. Uh, as that is taken care of, as the two competitors make their way back to the ring, uh, Justin Bolt helps James Prince uh, up to his feet and helps him to the backstage area. Um, the ring announcer comes back out. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your main event and is a powder keg qualifier match scheduled for one fall. One fall. One fall. Even oh. uh, making her way to the ring first. She is one half of the CCW Tag Team Champions representing Wasteland, Polly Hammer. Uh, Polly Hammer, who uh, looks like looks like some someone coming off of like the set of Mad Max, uh, comes out with the uh, with spiked uh, shoulder pads, a mohawk that turns into a mullet. Uh, boo boo mohawks that are mullets. <laughs> she makes her way down to the ring, holding the CCW Tag Team Title uh, in her like in her fist, like it's just clenched around the strap as she just snarls at like uh people at ringside uh and then rolls into the ring waiting for her opponent take a bath take a bath take a bath <laughs> making her and her opponent making her way to the ring from weimar germany she is the torch of professional wrestling ilona Ilona. 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 No, he went slow. Ilona. Ilona. He went so slow. Ilona. You gotta start Ilona. slow and start going faster. Ilona. 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 Screw the crooked man. Yeah. Ilona makes her way to the ring. Oh, God. <laughs> She's yawning and. It's past my bedtime. I'm tired. I get you. Bored of these this opponents that you've given fault. her. Yeah. She's like, what is this? Oh. oh. Done with them. If I could stop yawning. Alright, so I go running now. I'm waving at everybody, but I'm focused. I'm determined. I kind of soak in the crowd a little bit, but I don't take too much time and I get up go, and get in the ring all right awesome uh yeah you uh, get into the ring and yeah Polly Hammer is like almost immediately like jumps you uh attacks you clubs you into the corner uh before you even get your robe off um and just starts trying to throw in punches at you um yeah as you're just receiving punches I'm gonna have you roll uh real Seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. So, um, as she's throwing in the punches, like, you just... Like, the first couple ones land and just... They hurt like a son of a bitch. But you start kind of, like... You start trying to, like, absorbing... Like, kind of zoning it out. And just kind of focusing more on, like, getting up and getting your bearings. Uh, you start, like, lifting up your arms to block the punches and everything. And, um, yeah. How would you like to go from here? So, while you're getting punched and everything. I'm gonna, like, use my body as a shield and, like, kind of shove her. Alright. Um, that will be... I think it's power... Or what is it on yours? It is power. Eight. Eight. Oh, yeah. So, as you, um... As you get back onto your feet, you just, like, throw a short... Like, a short shoulder tackle and shove her out of the way. Or shove her back. Um... She gets this like grin on, like she gets this grin on her face as um, 
she charges sure. like, she looks at you and says uh oh, you want to play that game shoulder sure. tackle come on show me what you got I'm going to finish taking off my robe because she so rudely attacked me before I had the chance to. And then I, once I kind of throw it off to the side, I am going to run at her and go for a spear. Oh, damn. Uh, that'll be, that'll be real. Ted. Ten, yeah. Uh, so... As she invites you to go and shoulder tackle, uh, a little shoulder com uh, sh shoulder tackle competition, uh, you bounce off the ropes and lunge uh, shoulder first into her abdomen, uh, spearing her to the ground, uh, knocking the wind right out of her. Uh, you are most certainly in control of this one. All right, so I'm gonna pick her up. I'm gonna. Oh. God, I'm gonna whip her into the corner, and then I'll go for some chops. Why not? That's real. That's a four. Ooh, yeah. So uh, you begin throwing chops into the chest of uh, Polly Hammer. Uh, however, she just kind of looks at you and laughs at you. And then throws you in the corner and starts giving chops back to you. Um, she then, uh, after after a few chops, uh, she feels that you're winded enough that she backs up, and she starts she backs up into the opposite corner and starts charging after you. Uh, how would you like to avoid this? I'm ducking out under the ring. Ducking out under the ring. That will be work. Eight. Is that with the minus two? Yeah, it's, okay. I got ten minus ten. two. Okay. So yeah, uh, as you as you see her rushing towards you, you duck out of the ring as she launches herself shoulder first, and it's between the turnbuckles into the ring post. Uh, her shoulder goes right into the ring post. Um, it is just, and all you hear is just her go, ugh. You. I'm going to capitalize, and I'm going to go for an arm bar. Oh, nice. Like, on the outside of the ring? Mm-hmm. Nice. Suzuki style. Um, that will be work. Actually, you know what? For this, I'll have it be real. That's a ten. Ten? Yeah, so yes. as, uh, as her arm kind of, like, dangles limply there, you grab the arm and just... Upside down, dangling upside down, you lock her in an arm bar, uh, just try wrenching away at it. Uh, the referee kind of starts yell like yelling at you, let let go of the hold, let go of the one. Uh, how long are you holding on to this? I'll let go at three. Three? Yeah. So as soon as he counts to three, you let go, uh, letting yourself gently down onto the uh, onto the mat on the floor over the concrete floor. Um, yeah, you are. Very much in control of this match. I'm going to get back in the ring. I'm going to go for a suplex. Suplex that it'll be power. Eight. Eight? Uh, what kind of suplex are you going for here? I'll go for a German. German? Oh, sweet old German. All right, so yeah, as you uh, get into the ring, uh, Polly Hammer's still kind of like in between the turnbuckles, you pull her by, like, her trunks, pulling her out of the corner, wrapped her arms around her waist, lifting her off her feet and launching her uh, right onto her shoulder, like, right onto her back. Uh, beautiful German suplex as she just lays on her back in the middle of the ring. I'm going to look at her, kind of pat my chest, like, is this all you got? Come on, show me what you got. Uh, yeah, there's no response. She's she's kind of not. She's kind of winded on the on the ground, holding her shoulder. I'll go for a drop kick then. Drop kick. That'll be that'll be real. Four. Ooh. So yeah, as uh, you're about to uh, like kind of 
run the opposite direction to, for uh, the ropes. Uh, Hammer uh, reaches over and trips you, uh, grabbing your leg out from under you. You fall face first onto the ground. Um, as she rushes over to the rings, uh, over to the ropes, rushes back while you're laying on your on your stomach, jumps into the air and does a body splash onto your back. Um, yeah, you just feel like her all of her weight coming down upon you, um, and she rolls you over for a pin. Uh, have you roll straight forward two d six. 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 Yeah, it, the referee doesn't even get a count in. Uh, just as he's about to count one, you kick out, uh, getting your shoulder off the mat. Uh, she picks you up and she Irish whips you into the ropes. Uh, as you're coming back, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna try to like counter it and go for like a leg sweep to kind of trip her up. Uh, all right, that'll be uh, work. Going for the STO. Seven. Seven? All right, yeah. So uh, as you are coming back uh, from the ropes, uh, she tries to put like her arm up to... It looks like she's trying to go for like a, a slam or something, but you maneuver yourself around her and just trip her foot or put your leg behind her, one of her legs, and just shove her down with an STO. Uh, she just falls right onto her back, uh, kind of like not knocked out or anything, just kind of surprised. Um, yeah, you are still in control. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for an elbow drop, but not my finisher off the second. Off the second rope? Yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be real. Seven. Seven, yeah, you, uh, as she kind of is laying there and, uh, shocked, you, you don't take a second to even look at her. You rush over to the second rope and leap off with an elbow drop onto, into her chest, uh, knocks the wind right out of her. Um, definitely doing its, uh, definitely doing the damage that you wanted to do. Uh, as yeah, you are still in control. I'm gonna attempt to cover. Yeah, you go for the pin, and uh, the referee makes the count of one, two, two. as she yes. kicks out with a lot of force behind it. Right. I'm going to. Pick her up so she's on her feet. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go for a swing blade. All right, that'll be look. Eight. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you pick her back up, uh, rushing towards the ropes, running back to her, you swing blade, uh, driving her back first onto the ground. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are... Yep, continuing. <laughs> Ilona, Ilona. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm going to i'm gonna go for another one so i'm gonna do like kind of a succession of moves okay yep so i'm gonna go for another swing blade if successful i'm gonna go on the ropes go for my finish all right um that will be so that'll be look, and then straightforward 2d6, if that first one succeeds. You said first one was look? Yep. 10. 10? All right, and then I'll have you roll straightforward 2d6. Nine. All right, yeah. Um, as uh, you feel like the crowd getting behind you more and more and more, uh, you pick up Polly Hammer, rush against the ropes. Once again, another swing blade, dropping her back first onto the ground uh, and taking no or taking no time to uh, go up to the top rope. As you rush to the top rope, hopping over the top, uh, hopping over the top rope onto the turnbuckle, leaping into the air and dropping the falling light uh, elbow drop into the chest of Polly Hammer. Uh, going for the pin? Yeah. Yeah, you go for that pin. You hook the leg. One, One two, two, three. Here is your winner, Elona! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Elona! Yeah. Elona! 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 Yeah!
Ilona may now celebrate in the ring. I'm excited. Like, I'm happy I qualified for the powder keg. But I know, like, kind of what's in store. So I'm, like, slightly guarded. But I'm optimistic, looking for my next challenge. Because my light will not be dimmed. Yeah. As you, uh, as you say that, by the way, uh, as that, I'm imagining, is going through your head, uh, on the Jumbotron is another match slated out for you. Winner enters at number nine. Loser enters at number one. Ilona versus Cletus Farmatel. Well, I mean, huh? this does not seem like a win-win situation for Cletus at all. No, no, <laughs> it sounds like he's gonna get his. It sounds like he's gonna get his ass beat and have to start number one. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, oh. so Cletus is backstage at a monitor. And he's upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as we're, we're getting like the, the split here, uh, we have Ilona who's looking triumphant in the ring, uh, looking onward uh, at the graphic on the Jumbotron, and we have Cletus backstage flipping it. <laughs> He's just pissed. Um, and as we see this, uh, the image draws on for it for a little bit as we fade to black, ending yet another episode of CCW.